Hello, hello, I'm Li Hao. Ever wonder how you can write a client-side routing library? Moreover, like a file-based routing library just like SvelteKit? Well, in this video series, I am just gonna do exactly that. I'll go through step by step. Each video is gonna break down to just work on one topic. So let me show you what we are going to explore in the next 21 videos. For the first 12 videos, I'm going to focus on writing the client-side routing library. First, we're going to start with figuring how we can match the URL to render a component. Then we move on to use history API to navigate around. Later on, we talk about code splitting, adding some loading indicator when you are loading the next routes. With that, we're going to have some dynamic parameters. After that, we're going to talk about layouts for components. We wrap up with our client-side routing library, then we're going to start with how to write a file-based routing. So we are going to have a script that looks a folder structure and converts that into a routes definition so that we can pass that routes definition to the routing library that we just had in the first half of this whole video series. So we're going to go through step by step to build out our script that extracts information from the file path into parameters as well as the layout components. And lastly, the last two videos talk about having a page and navigation store so that you can import the read-only store and subscribe to any page changes such as your parameters changes. And lastly, the last video is dedicated for a file-based routing script. We are going to watch the routes folder such that whenever you create a new file, or rename the file or delete the file, we are going to regenerate the routes definition for you so that you don't have to manually run the script to generate the routes definition. So this whole 21 videos will wrap up on how you can create a file-based routing library just like SvelteKit. Although we mentioned that this is going to be written in Svelte, and most of these routing APIs are inspired by SvelteKit, but what you're going to take away from here is just writing a routing library, right? The UI part is very minimal. The part where we talk about Svelte is minimal. Most of the time we are working on the routing library itself, plain old vanilla JavaScript. So probably this knowledge is transferable when you're gonna use this for any frameworks that you want to create this knowledge is transferable. So why am I making this video series about writing your own routing library? To be honest, I feel that if you are building production sites, you shouldn't waste too much time on writing your own, but rather adopt some of these battle-tested open source solutions out there because it's well-maintained, well-documented, and it's better if you're working as a team, right? You wouldn't want to ask your team to use your bespoke routing library. And if you're gone, then no one is gonna maintain that library. So if for production purposes, you should by all means use battle-tested open source library. But for personal education, I think we should all believe ourselves that we are capable to implement this sort of libraries, right? Why does some open source maintainers can do that? Are they smarter than us? I don't answer that, but in this video, I want to un unveil the process of creating such libraries so that you also will realize that it's not that hard. It's something that you can figure out yourself step by step. And that's exactly what I'm going to do over here. All the steps, we have GitHub repository so that if you're stuck, you can always check out the changes and see where it went wrong and figure it out yourself. So, are we ready to take up this challenge to write our own routing library? Well, let's get started.